Let's open the can for Noah Smith. Okay, folks, um, I understand why people get excited when they think they see Superman in the sky. But why are they shouting so loudly when they think it's just a bird or a plane? I just don't get that. Well, I, I love summer. Summer is so great. I, I love the, the fruits in summer. I've been eating a lot of, of blueberries lately. And the good for you that they're, they're high in antioxidants. I, and I love that because I fucking hate oxidants. <laughs> Did you hear this? Just today, they, they found a new planet in the solar system. They found a new planet. Apparently, it's where Manny Ramirez comes from. <laughs> for those of you from out of town, man, Manny Ramirez recently asked, that, asked to be traded, and he might get traded. I hope they don't, because every sure he asked to be traded. Tomorrow, he's going to say that he wants to be a helicopter. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's just the way it works. I, I, I'm a Red Sox fan, and I live in New York City, too, so it's hard. I, you, you learn a lot, though. I, if I ever go out in you know, a Sox camp or a t-shirt, I learn that, um, that I am homosexual, <laughs> that the entire city of Boston is homosexual, <laughs> and that the, the individual members of the Red Sox perform any number of deviant sexual activities on each other and animals, and you know what? The Boston papers do not report that. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I just had my, my wife and I, we just had our second wedding at Mary Hammers. Thank you. I, uh, you know, I, love, I love being married, I really do. Um, in part because I no longer have to be engaged. I, I, there, there are things I like about being engaged, some things I really did not like. I did not like introducing people to my fiancé. I always like saying this is my girlfriend, now I like saying this is my wife, but my fiancé. Yes, this is this French thing that I have. She's my fiancé, I am her fiancé. We are affianced. And, you know, I, I've learned a lot from being married. I've learned, um, apparently, there are certain celebrity women that I am not allowed to be attracted to. Not so much that I'm not allowed to, is that if I say that I'm attracted to them, I am wrong. I mean, like, if, I, if I say I think Nicole Kidman is beautiful, yes, that's fine. If I say I think Jessica Simpson is hot, no, I'm wrong. She's a hideous monster, and the erection in my pants is based on false evidence. It's, uh, it's somehow, somehow, in this some beautiful, impossible way, um, Alyssa Milano has snuck through the cracks on that. I, oh, there's so many reasons why women should hate her. Uh, that, you know, you know, big fake boobs and, 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 and dresses like a slut and has tattoos and used to be a child star, so it's kind of creepy that you're attracted to her. But for some reason, my wife wants to sleep with her as much as I do. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, we, we spent our honeymoon um, in, in Amsterdam, which is a great place to go before you get married. <laughs> You know, it's, it's not just that, you know, that drugs are legal and prostitution is legal. Uh, it's just it's that drugs and prostitution are both legal. <laughs> and we went there. We, did. We, went, um, we went to the red light district where, where all that's going on. And uh, I tell you, though, it's not that jumping at 7 o'clock on a Tuesday. But they're still out there. You know, all the, all the, uh, the prostitutes are all in the windows of, of these like, sort of storefronts. And I guess what you do is you like go up and you knock on the glass and then you go inside and you do it in a wooden shoe or something. I don't know all the specifics. <laughs> uh, but so, so we're there and they're all out there at 7 o'clock on a Tuesday. And my wife is critiquing the women in the windows based on their performance and salesmanship. <laughs> so you're like, oh, oh, her, her, I like you sort of arching her back. I like that's a nice come on. She's just there sitting there smoking a cigarette. I don't think that's very good at all. Her, she's got a little nursing you for my good. I, I like that's a character. And I realized that I married the only woman in the world who could make shopping for sex like shopping for shoes. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's a party city, of course, and, and they have urinals everywhere. Because they want people being in the streets or in the, or in the canals and stuff. So they have the cheap plastic ones, but they also have these beautiful, uh, like, like, wrought iron constructions. Which, and, which, and they are beautiful, but, you know, in the middle of the summer, they turn into these gorgeous metal stench vestibules. <laughs> And my wife loved them, wanted me to like, pose in them for pictures and say cheese. And I say, please don't make me think of food while I'm doing them. But we, um, we, we rented one of those uh, paddle boats to, to travel around in the canals. And uh, to make those things work, you know, you sit in them. Oh, look. Great. 
Uh, <laughs> you sit in them and you, uh, you have to, uh, uh, you lean back and, you, and you're, you're paddling like this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but while I'm up here like this, there is some friction right here. And when there is friction right there, something happens. And it happened. And so I had to tell my wife, um, well, we need to stop, I can't paddle anymore. And, and so and I explained to her why, and she sort of reluctantly agreed to paddle herself. And, and things, I couldn't even like put my feet down because the pedals sort of kept whacking into my feet. So I had to lean all the way back and put my feet up on the front of the boat, like this. So here I'm cruising down a, a canal in Amsterdam, being pedaled by my wife with a massive erection, thinking this is the life! <laughs> My wife did not you know, really like you know, this situation very much. She said, no, why don't we pull over, you can go in there and you know, take care of yourself. <laughs> and she's pointing to one of the stench vestibules. <laughs> and I'll tell you, there are several things that I do not want to be arrested for doing in Amsterdam. And masturbating in a public urinal is about five of them. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.